today is Tuesday. It looks like we're in for another wild session in financial markets. Uh, so without further ado, these are the top five things I'll be watching. Kicking things off with number one. The US Senate is finally expected to pass the $2 trillion coronavirus economic stimulus package. Uh, hopes mounted after US Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer both uh, sounded optimistic late on Monday saying that a deal is close and that they expect to vote on it uh, on Tuesday. Uh, this comes after uh, Senate Democrats twice blocked attempts uh, to advance the bill uh, both on Sunday and on Monday. Uh, while details of the bill have not fully emerged as of yet, uh, most expected to include measures uh, which would uh, directly uh, provide financial assistance uh, to American citizens and uh, small businesses. On to number two. After tumbling on Monday, Wall Street is in a cheerful mood this morning with futures on the Dow, S&P 500, and NASDAQ all surging limit up, uh, rising by at least 5% at the moment. Uh, so markets are bracing for another volatile session. We'll see if we get a true turnaround Tuesday, uh, if the session progresses, or perhaps a wild reversal is in store. All eyes will be on the Senate vote, uh, obviously, as that will be the main driver of sentiment today. On to number three. The coronavirus pandemic continues to rage on with no signs of cooling off. Uh, cases in the U.S. are on the rise with more than 43 confirmed uh, infections uh, at the moment. The majority of those uh, are in uh, New York State. Uh, the uh, death toll in the U.S. currently stands at 530. Globally, there are now almost 380,000 confirmed cases. Uh, more than doubling from the same time a week ago, uh, with the global death toll approaching 17,000. Uh, so taking all that into account, we'll likely continue to monitor updates regarding the number of new infections, uh, especially in countries like uh, the U.S. and uh, Italy, where the epicenter has kind of shifted over to those countries uh, from uh, China. On to number four, on the data front. We uh, get invest investors will be looking for any up for any updates regarding the impact of the coronavirus outbreak on the global economy. When we get uh, services PMI and manufacturing PMI numbers at 9:45 a.m. Eastern time, at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time, shortly afterwards, we get the February update on uh, new home sales. And finally, in earnings, uh, market participants will be paying close attention to results from Nike uh, after Tuesday's closing bell. Uh, the, uh, the athletic retailer was one of the first uh, companies uh, to shut their stores uh, in the U.S. as a result of the uh, coronavirus uh, outbreak. Uh, so anything management has to say regarding uh, that, uh, on, uh, on regarding the impact of uh, coronavirus on its business op operations for, for the months ahead will obviously be in focus. Uh, shares of the Shoemaker are down 38% so far this year. Uh, we'll see if there's something in that report which could, uh, prov which could spark a turnaround. That's it for me for today. May the trading gods be with you. As always, head over to investing.com's uh, YouTube page. Uh, hit the subscribe button. You'll get notifications for uh, when these videos drop and more. So, like I said, may the trading gods be with you. Have a good day, everybody. Stay safe and wash your hands.